After four months of bitter protests, eight days of strikes and 150,000 cancelled procedures and operations, this evening, at last, a breakthrough. And for the man in charge of negotiations, it had clearly been a good day at the office. An ACAS statement setting out the terms of an agreement has been presented to the government and NHS employers and to the BMA. And that statement has now been agreed by all the parties as resolving the current dispute, subject to securing the support of BMA junior doctor members in a referendum. The talks hinged on a question of Saturday working. Having made an election promise of a seven-day NHS, the government had wanted to reclassify it as an ordinary working day. The New Deal started from scratch, offering an overall basic pay rise of between 10 and 11 per cent. This is compared to the original contract, which included a rise of 13 and a half per cent. But junior doctors will now get a weekend allowance, which will vary depending on the number of weekends worked rather than the exact hours. The maximum any of them will be required to work is one weekend in two. So we tried to put aside the differences that both sides had and to re-look at the problem with fresh eyes. And that's, I think, what we've come up with, a solution that all sides can sign up to and all sides can genuinely say is an improvement for doctors and for the NHS and therefore we hope for patients. Junior doctors will need to vote next month on whether to accept the reworked contract. Right now, the Health Secretary is trying his hardest to convince them to do so. On the government side, we have come to understand that there are many bugbears and frustrations for junior doctors that actually have nothing to do with their contract, but the way their training works, the quality of life in those jobs. And we want to engage constructively and positively, not just today, but going forward, because we recognise that junior doctors are the backbone of the NHS. It's been a long while coming, but there is hope at last that we are at least on the road to recovery. If you don't represent women in politics.